Craig. That was fantastic, sir. I used to believe like Craig when uh, I was a young buck. Then I went to a real communist country and I saw the social justice that existed in Vietnam and I was cured forever. My experience has taught me that while the words he said may sound good and they may sound indignant and they may sound righteous, nonetheless they are empty. They are empty because people do what people do. And people look for their own advantage. And when we speak of morality, it's often thrown away, as he has indicated, in the face of self-aggrandizement and self-interest. I don't deny that's true. And that's the situation we're in today. You see very clearly where the battle lines are drawn in this debate. And it's not whether you, know, you want um, illegal aliens to work for cheap or not. It's, are we going to have an America or not? You saw the people that didn't stand up in respect to the flag. And this is what the Minutemen are fighting for. And this is what the people are concerned about on our side of the issue. We are frustrated because the opposition, our adversaries, and people in the Republican Party, people we agree with on a lot of other issues, capitalism, for example, they can't reduce this issue to one of economics. Oh, it's whether we pay enough, or you know, it's, it's how much taxes they pay. It's not. This question is about whether or not we're going to survive as a nation or not. And as Charles Darwin says, survival of the fittest will prevail. And this is the struggle that we are engaged in. I can appreciate a lot that Mr. Lucero says about morality and justice. And I agree with him about math. There's a lot of things that were extremely unjust in there. But as a nation, as a people who had no part in that, although perhaps we share some responsibility, and a lot of us on our side, in fact, disagree with math and we want to get rid of it. And we sympathize with the campesinos and the, and the uh, Mexican people who've been so brutally exploited, not just by the United States, but by international capitalists. So with that, let me just go ahead and, and say we oppose this, we oppose the invasion for a number of different reasons. We are accused of being racists, bigots, haters, of wanting to deny, to deny things to, to immigrants, quote unquote. But it's not true. In fact, the Utah Minuteman Project is the defender of immigrants, legal immigrants. We are the defender of illegal aliens because we understand precisely how it is that they are exploited. They are exploited by the very people who get on their soapbox and talk so grandly about human rights and social justice. Every breath that is uttered by people who, who advocate for illegal aliens, in fact, reinforce the sanctuaries into which organized crime is feeding these illegal aliens. That, does, that is never talked about, it's never discussed. No one seems to care that when, you're at, when you advocate for quote unquote illegal aliens, you are in fact supporting organized crime, as well as the rich capitalists that you so despise and derogate. And it's very interesting that the opposition prates about human rights, but yet, here they are, supporting the very organizations that are undoing Mexico's government as we speak. Utah Internet Project is dedicated to the civil society. The civil society, perhaps, I think our opposition would agree with. And what is that? It is a society in which the individual is recognized and accepted as more than an abstract statistic or faceless member of some group, a race or a class, for example. He is a unique spiritual being, being with a soul and a conscience. And he is free to discover his own potential and pursue his own legitimate interests under the rule of law. Tempered, however, by the moral order in this nation, it's the Constitution, 
that has its foundation in faith and guides his life and all human life through the prudent exercise of justice. Sorry, judgment. Sorry about that. Judgment. So we have here a situation in which those who pander to and defend illegal aliens in the sanctuaries in which they reside seem to conflate their interests. For example, would you anticipate that individuals who are dedicated to the pursuit of social justice, in fact, by their very actions, are supporting organized crime, smuggling networks, and in fact, helping pour money into the businesses that hire these illegal, illegal aliens? Hmm, very interesting, don't you think? We need to remember that these illegal aliens who come across our border are not merely victims. They are, in fact, perpetrators of crimes. They start out in Mexico or Nicaragua or Somalia or China or the Ukraine or wherever it is that they begin by paying off organized crime to get them here in the first place. So they are participants in, in the act of smuggling. Certainly not a moral or an ethical act by any measure of the imagination. Second thing they do, they violate the sovereignty of the United States when they cross our border. Yes, and not only that, they violate my sovereignty as a citizen of this nation. Then when they get here, the, the vast majority, of, what do they do next? Well, why? They pour more money into the smuggling cartels and organized crime by purchasing false documents. Oh yes, the document bills that are run by organized crime. Oh yeah, that's how it's done. The next thing they do is they go on to steal jobs from Americans who need them. And then they commit a wide range of crimes from tax fraud, to identity theft, to document fraud, to welfare fraud, I-9 fraud. And there doesn't seem to be any compunction whatsoever about morality when it comes to the crimes these people commit or the fact that the illegal aliens are in fact pouring money, their money, and the, and the money of the people that are, uh, that are sending them money from the United States into the pockets of the organized crime cartel. Not a lot of morality in, the, in that regard. So we have a situation in which we need to stand up for the rule of law. We need to have sympathy for people, even the illegal aliens, who are in fact brutally exploited, as Mr. Lucero has pointed out, by the corporations and, I would say, activist groups who pander to them all day long. I mean, what would USJ do if they didn't have somebody to stand up for? Hmm? That's a good question. So I think, I think that it's important that we can come together on this issue if we recognize that the rule of law is paramount and that the people who are receiving the most benefit are in fact the businessmen, the churches, and the organized crime cartels that are feeding illegal aliens into those sanctuaries. So with that said, I appreciate your time and I'm looking forward to the debate. Thank you.